My name is Brother JD. I started L. Ray's Garage in my own backyard years ago. I knew it then, and I know it now. There are thousands of people that build awesome rides right from their own homes. That true artistic innovation takes place in the backyards of our great nation. Time to give real builders a chance to show off what they put their heart and soul into. And at the same time, give a little bit back to charity. A celebration of the Blue Collar Nation. A show for the people, by the people. Welcome to Wrench Wars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wrench Wars, everybody. My name is Andy Fabro. I'm from Camarillo, California. I've been working on cars about 15 years. The craziest thing working on a car, customer complained of a horrible smell. I looked all through the car and through the frame there was a dead boa constrictor wrapped up. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've seen my competitor's car, definitely looks better than mine, but my car's got a lot of uh, whistles and bells. A lot of extra stuff going on, so I, th I think I can take them when it comes to the technical. My name's Chris Hancock. I'm from Palmdale, California. I've been working on cars since I was probably five years old. My dad had a VW shop that I grew up in, and I've been working on cars ever since. I'd say the best memory I have of working with my dad and at the shop is people bringing trailer cars down, V8s, racing him in his little Baja bug with a 2180 and he would smoke them every time. I'm pretty nervous. Never been on a show before, so this is a first timer for me. Out of the red corner, we got Mr. Chris Hancock out of Palmdale, California in his 59 VW Ragtop. He's playing for Vets for Veterans. I'm playing for a charity. It's Vets for Veterans. It's a charity out of Palmdale, California that is run specifically to give all the money to the vets instead of a percentage, which means everything to me because I love our vets for fighting for our country. Out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, we got Andy Fabro, the mad scientist out of Camarillo, California, 61 VW Ragtop, and he's fighting for the American Diabetes Association. My charity of choice is American Diabetes Association. A little selfish on that. I've been a type one diabetic since I was about five years old, 33 now. It's a tough disease, and I know that a lot of type one diabetics and type two diabetics for that matter uh, have a lot of issues, so I'd like to donate to the American Diabetes Association. Tonight's Tale of the Tape is brought to you by our good friends at Roof King, Southern California's top roofer. We got a hot one tonight. Andy Fabro and his 61 VW Bug against Chris Hancock and his 59. Street legal turbocharged rockets running 10 second quarter miles. VW gearheads unite. The rules of Wrench Wars are simple. In rounds one and two, just persuade the judges that the work you did on your ride is better than that of your opponent. Round three is a head-to-head -head competition that challenges those garage skills. This round is worth as much as one and two put together. Good luck, contenders. Contenders, step forward and meet the judges. Come on up. To my right, the one and only. She does it all. Full customs, paint, body work. I've seen the work she does. You gotta check it out. She comes out of Dame Customs, out of Linwood. Sonia Cervante, ladies and gentlemen. All right, on the end. I got him because the man is legendary. This guy is a retired sprint car racer. He's a motocross racer. He doesn't like to say it, but I found out he had that number one plate back in the day. I don't know if you know how hard that is to get, but he was rolling with it. And he builds cars. He's got motors laying around the house. This is Mr. Bob Alderman, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Alderman. I got this guy tonight because he's a beetle man. I've seen his Beetle, full custom, California style, pan off, full restoration, a beautiful car, owns and operates a shop called Second Chance Customs. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Jesse Valenzuela. I'm Jesse Valenzuela. I own Second Chance Customs in Covina, California. We build uh, custom Volkswagens, hot rods, street rods, motorcycles, whatever you can think of, we build. My all time favorite car has been Volkswagen. I've always had them. There's always been a VW in my garage, in my driveway, and I've always been tinkering on them. 
I don't think that that Volkswagen itch will ever get scratched. Oh, we got a good one tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back. Boys, I think it's time to get on with round one. Let me introduce to you the one and only ring girl, Miss Joy to the world. Isn't it? Yeah, let's get a hand <laughs> So tonight, this is from a company called Auto Anything. Right here, there you go. Do your hands. Yeah, this is from Auto Anything. This is round one prize package. This is a Metro Vacuum Blow 500 car vacuum. 500 watt state of the art motor, just 3.5 pounds, all steel construction, black powder coat finish, boasts a staggering 60 inches of 60 inches of water lift for bone dry results. Man, you can't beat it. That little thing is powerful. Let's just say it sucks a lot of juice up from the floor. You know what I'm saying? Standard wall outlet plug or cigarette lighter power. Made with pride in the USA, backed by Metrovac's five-year motor warranty. Ladies and gentlemen, the Metrovac for round one is gonna be one of yours, boys, tonight. Here it goes. Boys, this is what we're gonna do. On her bell, we're gonna have the judges come out. You're gonna have one minute, one minute to tell these judges everything they've done to the outside of these cars. Paint, body, bumpers, wheel, tire comment, anything you can see on that car as it rolls down the road. Chris Hancock, you're gonna go first. On her bell, judges, are you ready? Right. Well, let's do it, let's stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, on the bell! All right, first we did a body off restoration, so I wanted to keep the car as original looking, but raced at the same time. So we kept the original bumpers, did tons of, of uh, metal repair, rust repair. Uh, it's got a four inch uh, narrowed front beam, with uh, two and a half inch drop spindles, which gives it the drop in the front, uh, center line combo rims. In the rear, we have uh, disc brakes as well with the combo rims, uh, shocks that keep the back end sitting the way it does, so it has the, the little dicked stance on it. Um, is this IRS? No, it is swing axle. Um, like I said, I kept trying to keep it as original as possible besides the wing and the engine and cramps. That's the end of round one for Chris Hancock. All right. Let's hear it for Chris Hancock. There you go. Good, good, good. Red corner, that was a great round. Blue corner, are you ready, sir? No, Judges, are you ready? ready? All right. On the bell of Miss Joy to the world. All right, it's got a Ventura Sinorama wrap job. This isn't paint. Uh, I came up with the whole design. They added some flavor into it. It's got uh, flat four replica BRM wheels. Um, it's a tilt fiberglass front end that's one piece uh, with roll cage integrated. Um, it's got a uh, Ron Loomis Racing rear wing, creative car craft, inch and a half wider fenders. It's got a uh, a uh, fiberglass rear deck lid that's kind of propped out so it can kind of fit everything, but it's just kind of how I roll. Um, it's got the correct tail lights for it. All the exterior stuff works, all the lights, everything does. Um, it's got an actual functional battery cutoff for NHRA rules. Um, it's got uh, a Lexan window just on one side because I was gonna route some ducting into the rear, but uh, ended up not doing that. Um, you know, factory rack top, it's got working windshield wipers. I put just little handles on it on the front because Three, the gas tank's two, underneath. Five. And when I flip it open. All right, round one, let's hear it for these guys. All right, all right. Gentlemen, you know how this works. These judges have a few questions for you, and then we'll figure out who wins this round. We always start out with Miss Sonia Cervanti. Go ahead, sister, what you got for these boys? Red corner, uh, how much of the like body work or paint or welding did you like put into the car, putting it together? Numerous, numerous hours fixing tons of rust that were in the in the uh, heater channels and in the front of the car. We did all the rust repair. We took the body off of the car, replaced the floor pans. Andy, why didn't you go with the paint on yours instead of the wrap? My paint underneath was about 12 layers thick, and I was like, man, a wrap job would be really cool because I want I want a certain flavor to my car. I'm kind of by the Camarillo Airport, and I saw some old World War II planes, and I'm like, that's what I want. That is exactly what I want. Cool. It looks good. Thanks. Beautiful car. Absolutely great. I love all the, the stock trim and everything. Thank you. Purpose-built street car, purpose-built race car. What are you doing? Purpose-built both Whoops. drag car and streetable at the same okay. time. And that. 
purpose-built race car. It's all intents and purposes, it's a race car, but everybody drills me. I drive it every Friday, I drive it every weekend. People you. go, no way, and I go, absolutely. I, they, I built my car to drive it. Ladies and gentlemen, backyard built, no trailer queens up in here. I love that, man, that's good. I love it, man, great work, great work. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna go to the judges, and we're gonna find out who wins this round. We'll be right back. We'll be right back after this. Let me hear you on the Red Wolf. Welcome back to Wrench Boys! All right, all right. Good job, gentlemen. I think it's time to find out who wins that vac right there, that vac in blue right there. I think it's awesome. Good luck, boys. Judges, you ready? Here we go. Let's see what you got. Red or blue, what do we got? I see a red, I see three red. Red takes the red corner, takes this round right here. That's you, Mr. Chris. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Chris. All right, good job, buddy, good job. Just won the first round. I'm pretty stoked right now and uh, ready to go on to round two and let's see what happens. He's a formidable competitor, man. His car is gorgeous, has a lot of tech behind it. Mine may look a little more old school, but uh, it's got some hidden tech in it. So uh, I I'm confident, but you know, who, who knows? We'll wait and see. Now it's time for round two. Round two is everything you can't see on those rides as they're going down the road. Motor, tranny, rear end. Whatever you got going, that's what I'm interested in. I want to know what you did in the backyard. So, without further ado, let's find out what we have from our good friends at Auto Anything. Joy, what do you got from Auto Anything on this one? Let's see what we got here. What this is, is a Hercules multi-purpose power source. It's a jump starter, plus it's a high flow air compressor. Come on now, that's nice to have around the shop right there. All right, it's by ePower 360. This is 1800 ampere peak jump starter, heavy duty cables and clamps, Self-contained 12 volt, 26 ampere hour, rechargeable lead acid battery, 260 PSI high flow air compressor, 99 PSI digital pressure gauge, three USB 5 volt, 2100 milliampere ports. That's cool, USB, can't beat that. You'd like the USB. Yeah, yeah. High intensity area light and red emergency flashing light. Thank you, Hercules, and thank you, Auto Anything. Here we go, let's have a round of applause for joy to the world in the prize package. All right, all right, all right. I believe it was you, sir. Chris, you went first on the last round? Yes, sir. So, Andy, you go first on round two. As soon as you hear that bell, get to it, young man. This could be your round. Joy to the world on your bell! All right, it's got a tilt one-piece front end. I did all the wiring myself. It's got a uh, Snow Performance uh, methanol controller. Um, it's got an Adler Land Speed cage that me and my friend Doug built. Um, CV Performance of uh, boost and ignition controller. Did all that myself. Um, it's got a nitrous oxide system uh, by Nitrous Express. The motor I completely built myself. It's got DRD L7 turbo heads. It's got an Apex Performance turbocharger. It's got CV Performance end castings. Uh, it's got a Rancho Performance trans uh, with AutoCraft case. Uh, it's got uh, jammer rear disc brakes, did all that myself. Um, chassis wise, it's got a fully built cage. Everything works. The, the rag top, I did all that, all the wiring, all the uh, tin work inside. I did all that myself. Um, nice, nice round, nice round. All right, it's here for Andy. All right, all right, all right. Chris, are you ready, man? Yes, sir. Judges, are you ready? Ready. All right, crowd, are you ready? Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, on your bell! All right, we did all the interior wiring, fuel lines, clutch management setup. Uh, the computer was installed and wired by, by me. Installed the engine trans. The engine has a a Garrett turbo system with CB intakes. It's fuel injected EFI. Runs on E85 fuel. Uh, it's got a full drag box made by KCR Transmissions with aluminum Rhino case and heavy duty race axles. Uh, QA1 shocks in the rear for getting the power to the ground. Disc brakes obviously in the rear. Uh, line lock. You name it. 
All the car was wired completely by me. Three, Lights. Two, one. All right, all right, all right. It's here for Chris in the red corner. All right, good round, guys. Good round, good round. You know how this works? It's time for the judges to ask a few questions. Sonia, what do you got for these boys? What do you think? I have a question for both teams. Red, we'll start with you. About how many hours just work-wise, the interior stuff that we really can't see, would you say you have put into it, would you say? I'm not sure about hours, but it took seven months to build the whole car. Okay. I spend so much time, I don't even count the hours. How long, were you, how long did you have it for? I've had it uh, 13, 14 years, uh -huh. and it's just been a continuous evolution. You said that um, you know you put the motor together. Did you put the motor actually together? I put the motor in and wired all the wiring, all the sensors, everything for the fuel injection and all that. I did not build my motor. Andy? Yeah, there's hundreds and hundreds of hours built into that motor. Tedious, uh, finishing everything to the nth degree. Very, very particularly built. Why the fuel injection over carburetor? because I raced in, La in Las Vegas last year and it was leaning out on me. And Attitude. I ate up two pistons and it costs a lot of money to replace. Transmission-wise, I know that's probably the weak link in that whole deal. It's pretty much the fullest tilt boogie type one trans at the moment. Aftermarket case, aftermarket main shaft. Pretty much the only thing Volkswagen about it is it looks like a Volkswagen trans. They're both awesome, good job. Congrats to both of you. We're gonna find out when we come back who wins this round. We'll be right back on Rich World! Yeah, yeah. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Rich World! Welcome back, welcome back. Hey, that was a great round. Let's find out who won. Judges, get your paddles ready. Ladies and gentlemen, round two. This is everything you cannot see in the car, everything inside under the hood. This is for that Hercules charger right there, compressor, that all-in-one box. Here we go, on the judges' scorecard. What do we have for round two? What do you got? Blue, 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 blue corner. Oh, right there, Andy takes that one. Congratulations, sir. I just won round two. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm a little worried about round three because that's going to be the uh, tiebreaker, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident. I got this beautiful car, and I think we're going to take it away. Or even Steve right now. This is round three. Whoever wins this round, Gonna win the bout tonight. And a $500 shopping spree in auto right. So round three is a challenge round. What you see before you in a special Hackleberry display, that's where you're gonna place pictures of VW taillights through the years. Earliest taillights, 50s, 60s, whatever it is, to the latest right over there. Your pictures are right there on top of those toolboxes. Go get yourself a card, slap it on there. Go run and get another one, slap it on there. You can move them around once you get them over here. When you think you got it right, all you got to do is run over there to Joy to the World Bell. Just go ding, and then I'm going to take a look. If you got it right, we can get rid of this board, and you'll be on to the next stage. What you see right here, this bad boy, this old torque converter, has pieces in it. You got to take that thing apart to get those pieces. The pieces will go to this ignition switch and that tail light. There's probably a key, you're gonna need a key. There might be a little wire, you might need a little wire. The first guy that gets tail light and brake light is gonna win this round. The thing about this mechanism is that there's a lot of different fasteners on it. If you know your tools, you'll go to that box and you'll get what you need. One tool at a time too. Crowd, are you ready? Let's go! Door to the world on your bell, round three! Here they go, boys and girls, here we go. The cards are coming. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Andrew thinks he's got it. Andrew's rolling. Man, a guy could get hurt over here. It's like 405. <laughs> See? Both of them doing really well. You know, these VW guys, you can tell they know what's up. They're like, I know this. I know this. This ain't no thing. Oh, we're down to the last one over here. What do we got? And he's hustling. He's putting it up on there. Six decades of taillights. Do you know your stuff, or is it just a big bluff? Looks like he's running for the bell. What's it going to be? Yes, sir, you can move on to the next part of this. One got to change. Just one got to change. One. You can 
go ahead and move on to the uh, second part. Don't even ring the bell. Don't even worry about it. You're good. Who's going to take round three in that $500 auto anything shopping spree? Is it Andy in his 61 or Chris in the 59 that gets it done? Stick around. All right, boys and girls, getting down to it. The VW guys are going for it. Andrew thinks he needs a two. Chris is jamming. Andrew's going for the top. Chris going for another two. All right. There he has the key. Andrew's got the key for his ignition switch. Chris right behind him. There's a bunch of different fasteners on that bad boy. Good job, Chris, on finding the right one. That's not an easy one to find. Chris Jammin over here. First one that makes tail light light, brake light light. Gonna win that 500 bucks from Auto Anything. Looks like Andrew got his brake light switch out. There's the key, I see a key. All right, Chris got his red key out. Andrew's trying to poke around with some wiring over here. Nice one. That Allen wrench is tough to find. Those tools over there are all mixed up in that box. Very difficult. There's his brake light switch, he's right behind him. Andrew's ahead. It's just like when you're working on a car and you can't figure it out, you gotta keep digging. Boy, they're close now. That's the wire they were looking for, right there. They were going after it. Both of them, you can tell they were, hey, where's that wire? Something's missing. Where is it? It was under that torque converter. Andrew's going after it. I got one light over here on the left in the red corner. Andrew got brake light, no light. I got a regular light on the red side. I got a brake light and a regular light on the red side. Right there, red corner wins. Good job, buddy. Wow, wow. We want to talk about a close finish. We're talking within about a second. I saw that Andy was ahead of me, and I just kept on going for it and going for it, and worked out in the end for me. Round three was down to the wire, man. He edged me out by just milliseconds, but it was a great night overall. I just want to thank everybody for stopping by. Auto Anything, thank you so much for everything, Auto Anything. We appreciate you. Also, Emerald Ink and Stitch. Emerald Ink and Stitch is the ones that make these t-shirts for us. Also, Roof King, roofing for your houses, your apartment buildings, they do a great job. Dogtown, thanks for the stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for stopping by Wrench Wars and hanging out with us. Thank you so much for stopping. Let's have a hand for these guys. All right, Wrench Wars. <laughs>